a lot of you point to um, this libertarian debate, a moment from a libertarian debate that took place in, I want to say, 2017. Um, either way, it was amazing for obvious reasons. Um, so let's let's watch. Should someone have to have a government issued license to drive a car? Hell no. What's next? Requiring a license to make toast in your own damn toaster? The license to drive? You know, I'd like to see some competency exhibited by people before they drive. <laughs> Read the room, Gary Johnson. Read the room. A license to drive? What's next? A license to make toast? They thought they were fucking killing it. And as funny as this is, as much as this became a meme, I swear to God, just normal GOP primary debates are morphing into this. They're morphing into this. And I've got definitive proof. Uh, so case in point, the Wyoming Republican primary debate. These are some of the uh, highlights courtesy of the Republican Accountability Project. Uh, I'm not joking when I say that all GOP primaries are morphing into the libertarian debates. We're going to go to what we call a lightning round. January 6th. It was a setup from the beginning. We cannot have uh, actual, um, um, oh gosh, um, <laughs> see, um, anyway. Uh, what we saw happen on January 6th. Uh, was uh, clearly an attempt to uh, delay the count of the electoral votes. Coronavirus vaccine policy. So Liz Cheney is playing the role of Gary Johnson in this particular clip, where she's at least somewhat reasonable here, but everyone else is just not having it at all. They knew Fauci had awards for his work in cytokines. Mr. Fauci is one of the most corrupt individuals in washington dc we are to oppose any vaccines everybody ought to get vaccinated and we need to do everything we can to protect ourselves from future viruses wyoming residents faith in the election process i understand when i talked to mike lindell he did say that there was a small small portion of uh voter fraud in this state but that is alarming what about uh so the great mike lindell the pillow guy his insight is definitely respected here. And I just want you to appreciate how insane these Republicans are. If you make Liz Cheney look reasonable, you're a nutcase. You you are an absolute nutcase. Like, not to be ableist, but you should be in a fucking room with padded walls. And I mean that literally. Uh, 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 Facebook... Uh using the, uh, the the system to 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 steer people uh we we know for a fact all the major internets do that now as absurd as this was um apparently the republicans in uh the gubernatorial primary in arizona said hold my beer we're gonna get a lot more deranged than even the wyoming republicans um, this might actually be at parity with the libertarian debate in terms of stupidity. but um, And by the way, this woman right here, for those of you who don't know, she basically made her whole career off of gays are bad, gays are grooming children. And then there was a scandal that came out with her and a longtime friendship that she had with a drag queen who uh, performed at her house. She was even in drag herself. I believe she dressed as Elvis Presley. Uh, there are photographs. And uh, she was asked about this on Fox News, and she melted down that Fox News would ask such a biased question. So, I mean, these people are clowns, but um, let's watch. These are the highlights courtesy of Enda O'Dowd. They closed my business down. But you know what? I didn't listen. I kept it open. You didn't have to listen, people. You didn't have to listen. I'd actually like to ask everybody on this stage if they would agree we had a corrupt stolen election. Raise your hand. Never now, happened. HB 2280. Hold on. Let her finish, please, Scott. Okay. God, they talk over me, and I'm Italian. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> you know what? I'm Irish. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Why not get high-tech people that are going to be on the machines that are Republicans? A Democrat, Republican, get supervisors, that, that, equal amount. That's already happening. We, we have parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right. They're, they're doing it now. <laughs> no, no. They, they they're actually it. telling they people have that hundreds, 200,000 minimum ballots were trafficked by mules. No. <laughs> <laughs> May I finish? Mamma mia. 
we I have feel like I'm on an SNL the fuck? here. Are you we going to take it, control of the debate? We are taking, no, 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 Carrie, I don't want I'm you to try to I'm happy to do it. I know you would be okay. happy to do it. Listen, I haven't been on a stage with this many women since I've been to a baby shower. It's been a while. <laughs> I, I don't know how that's going to go over, Scott, but we'll let that hang. Um, let's talk about... Oh. What? Wait, why were you on a stage at a baby shower? I just have to ask that question. Why? Uh, first of all, it's very progressive for him to go to a gender-neutral baby shower, presumably. But what baby shower is there a stage for? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know. Do you think Republican voters want a candidate who doesn't even believe in the vote? I don't believe this primary has been fair. I can tell you that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have launched the lawsuit. Our campaign is a movement. We're going to show up and vote in droves. They're going to have to cheat even harder in order to try to win this. Your so campaign's I think a psyop. Uh, Paul, 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 <laughs> first of all, put everything. I feel like this is a spoof, honestly. <laughs> and I love that it's because of you. You're you're making it into a parody yourself. But they're all so conspiratorial. They're like one is claiming that the primary is rigged. Another is claiming that she's a psyop. She herself is claiming that the 2020 election was stolen. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! These are absolute unhinged, foaming at the mouth barbarians and uh, to think that one of them could become a governor should horrify everyone but if i had to choose it'd be the italian woman because she just has good nona vibes she's probably a demon though so maybe i take that back I'd finish what you were saying please <laughs> oh God. is this a spoof ted no it's not finish are you sure saying. yes Finesse i am <laughs> wow okay i'm pro-life from conception to death and i believe no exceptions for rape or incest well, that's a gray area. I, I don't know. That's a personal decision for a person. Well, why can't we treat human life in the same way that we would treat alien life that know. we discovered how on would, an alien planet? How would you? There's a reason. We okay, I have to pause right there because that brings up so many questions. Um, did we make a huge discovery that I'm not aware of? Did we discover aliens? Are we talking like fucking single cell organisms? Are we talking intelligent life? What is he talking about? This almost gives me anxiety to watch because it makes me feel like I'm crazy. Like I have to watch uh, something as like a palate cleanser. Like we need to watch kittens playing or something because this is almost like traumatic to sit through this. And I love how they're bitching about how, oh my God, this is so crazy. Is this a parody? You're making it a parody, lady. You're crazy people. The way that they sound to you is the way that you sound to normal people. We don't always invite Scott because he's polling at zero percent. No, one percent. And this is what happens. The, <laughs> <laughs> the only kind of drag I've ever dressed in is a business suit or construction work clothes. I've never aspired to be Elvis Presley. Okay, first of all, so you're LARPing as like a working class person. That's extremely cringe, more cringe than if you were to dress in drag. And also, I love the low-key shot he's taking at the short-haired lady uh, because she did dress as a drag king. She dressed as Elvis Presley with her drag queen friend. I mean, this is so unhinged. I love it. That's it. That's it. Look at the pain on this guy's face. That's it. That is a man who's suffering who just witnessed so much stupidity, lost so much brain cells, it's going to take him at least a year and a half to recover. Like, I don't know if he's like a, a nightly news anchor in the state of Arizona, but it's going to take him so long to recover. Like, he has brain damage now. Mike is a total shitlip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. <laughs> So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.